And this afternoon we are joined by Thea Randall who's going to give us some fantastic tips on some amazing summer entertaining recipes. So first I'm going to make a focaccia. We're going to roast it with tomatoes, rosemary, olive oil, salt. It's delicious. Uh, then we're going to do a whole sea bass which we're going to roast and steam so it's going to be really really juicy. I've got some thyme in there, we've got lemon, we've got some parsley stalks and then we're going to do a lovely quinoa salad. It's a lovely combination. We've got 100 grams of fine semolina flour, 900 grams of strong bread flour. Pinch of sugar, 15 grams of sea salt, 30 mils of olive oil, 8 grams of dried yeast. So you've got 600 grams of warm water. So let's take that out. A wetter dough gives you a much lighter focaccia. Put a bit of oil on top. Shape it into a nice sort of smooth ball. And do you cover it over nice and loose so it's got space to prove? Yes, yeah, so just make sure you've got olive oil over because it's going to rise up sort of twice the size. Right, so pop it in. Well, it's a straightforward automatic program that you can find in the functions and you can see there it's got that picture of the bread press and off we go yeah it's nice look and at warm. that look huge at that. yeah lovely and pillowy and you kind of want to sort of take it away from the edges yep a little sprinkling of semolina flour just on the bottom as well i kind of fold it over once fold it over again just let it kind of find its shape Put a bit of oil on top of that and then put that back in the prover for 10 minutes. One of my favourite things to add to the focaccia are tomatoes. We're going to just chop these tomatoes in half. I like the simplicity of just rosemary, sea salt, tomatoes and lots and lots of olive oil. Let's get the oven preheated and let's get the focaccia out and we'll put the tomatoes on top of the focaccia. So a little bit of rice, not too much more of a rice. And you can see it's very, very spongy. spongy. And then finish that rosemary on top. All that juice, the tomato, just put it all on. You put all the liquid on as well. Everything, you don't waste anything. Frugal cooking. Italian cookery and then involves everything. Push that down, good quality sea salt. In she goes. So a nice 250 degrees, and don't forget that steam is going to help that bread just lift that little bit extra nice. so you get that really nice light and fluffy texture. That looks absolutely delicious. So the thing now is to make sure that you let it sit for a good 10, 15 minutes. I know the temptation yeah. is to cut a piece off, but do not do that because it's still cooking. So now we're going to do the quinoa salad yep. with the asparagus, the green beans, peppers with the honey and lemon dressing. Simply just going to choose our steam function, um, pure steam, and we said we're going to put it in for 27 minutes. Bit of salt, bit of black pepper. And that's pretty much our dressing made. Okay, so we're going to steam the green beans and the asparagus, so I'm going to pop those on the tray. Okay. Pop them in the oven. Whoa! Oh, look at that. <laughs> so on the very top shelf. Very you. top shelf. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the colour. Look at the colour oh, yeah, of yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely stunning. So when I'm steaming, steaming sort of, you know, quinoa, I tend to like put the water in, bring it to the boil, and then put it through a sieve, and then it all gets stuck, gets down, stuck down the sink, you lose half of it. So this is um, great to this see. This is absolutely everything in one. Just put the spinach in the bowl, put the quinoa on top, and just put the dressing all over the whole plate. Well, it looks very, very impressive, and I can't wait to try it. But there's just one final dish that we need to do, that's and that's it. the hero, and that is the sea bass. I'm going to stuff it with some parsley stalks uh, and some lemon. More olive oil, more salt to the skin side, a bit of pepper, and that's kind of it. It's ready to go. All you need to do. We're going to do a whole fish opposed to a fillet. Yep. And then the weight of it, you said, was? 1.2 kilos. So 1.2 kilos, there it is. Second shelf and below, whole. Let's tick it. And it's going to take 24 this minutes. Is Here we go again. Magic. It's going to use a little bit of steam to keep the moisture, but we're going to bring some of the microwave in, but very delicate, very low speed, so it doesn't affect the, the texture of the fish. Um, and then, of course, we want that oven temperature as well. 
to then cook the outside. So That's I'm going to make um, a salsa verde to go with it. I'm just going to do some parsley and some mint. They're two herbs. I think they're really nicely with this. So you've got some lentils to pui. Yep. Season them. And there's nothing more delicious than a lentil with some sea bass and some salsa verde. Oh, look at wow. that. Wow. Nice. And then just gently pull away the skin. Oh, look at the way it's coming away. I just want to show you how delicious that fish is. Got to put a little bit of that salsa verde on there. Put on that bit there. Oh my gosh, that is just... It's tender, see? It's because mm. it's on the bone and you've got all that lovely juice, but it's it's that thing of cooking, letting taking time, let it rest. That's the difference. And that little antipasto plate of salumi, we've got burrata with some lovely tomatoes, some nocellara green olives, the focaccia, the quinoa salad, the sea bass, lentils de puy, the salsa verde. Brilliant. What more could you want? Wonderful. Thank you very much. My pleasure. <laughs>